I will be using an underpainting on the background beach and water scene. I plan to work around the outline of my kingfisher, so I may get some color on the bird, but I can easily cover it and remove any marks with my soft pastels. I am using a 91% alcohol and brush to blend and dissolve the dry pastels into my sanded paper. I'm using a 600 grit UART paper that works great with an underpainting. You can use water instead of alcohol, but alcohol dries much faster. Using water is fine, but make sure the pastel surface you are using accepts water without damaging your paper. I'm applying some dry pastel to the sky and water that I can blend using my fingers. I'll be using a blending stick in small areas where I can't touch with my fingers. Pastels blend smoothly over an area that has been washed with alcohol. It gives you a solid surface of colors, preventing colors from getting muddy and the tooth of the paper doesn't get filled in too quickly. I'll continue to develop the sandy beach and add some more pools of water created by the waves washing onto the shore. Next, I will soften the large shadow that, that is casting from the shoreline trees. Now that I have most of the background blocked in, I will start developing the small sand dune in the forefront with some grasses. I'll start with an underpainting to block in some of the darker shades. I will start with the darkest value first and then add lighter shades of green to create dark and light contrast in the dune grasses. Note that the light source is coming from the right side, so it's important to have lighter shades of green where the sunlight is casting. There's another small sand dune here that I will add some grasses to. At this point, I'll start working on the kingfisher. Kingfishers are one of my favorite birds, and they're very common here in South Carolina. This is actually a female belted kingfisher. The females are blue-gray with a chestnut 
orange belly uh, or the band on the belly is the chestnut orange color. The females are actually more colorful than the males. Males do not have this color band on their belly. I thought that was very interesting. I am using a little bit of alcohol and a brush to blend the dark color in his beak and around the eyes. Kingfishers have a very broad, uh, large beak for the size of their body. They also make a very loud rattling call as they patrol an area. She has a white band around her neck and the blue-gray color at the top part of her chest. start blocking in the colors uh, in the body of the bird and then gradually begin shaping the outlines of the small feathers in his wings and chest. This process um, takes, takes a while to do so I hope you follow along and enjoy the process. I'm adding some more reflective light to the bird's chest feathers. It also gives his feathers a little more fullness to his body. I'm drawn in some dark outlines of the feathers and I'll use some alcohol to uh, blend it uh, so that they do not dissolve when I add more colors on top. I'm beginning to add more feather details and outlines to the large wing. Here I will start adding some reflective highlights to the bird's feathers. Fisher is sitting on a very old 
decaying post, but this post has a lot of character that I really like. The kingfishers typically will perch on a high branch or a, a tall pole and then plunge headfirst into a pond or shallow water of the shoreline to pursue a fish. And also hover over the water before they dive in. They are a fascinating bird that I have watched many times. I've zoomed up a little bit here so that I can draw the uh, kingfisher's feet. They're very small on the size uh, pastel paper I'm using, so I have to use my pastel pencils to um, define the details. Now I will focus on some of the final details and shading. The kingfisher's wing also needs some more shading on the small feathers before this painting is finished. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope you join me for future lessons and demos. If you like this video, please press like and please subscribe.